absolutely important that people can see talent and merits in, 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 in some of the people who are involved in this government because that is a recognition of, s of, the, of, the, of the track record of the minister who has led a number of <coughs> uh, departments and in each of the departments she has made an impact. She is an experienced politician and an experienced government person. She knows how to reach out. And, and she knows how to create a user-friendly situation. So she will certainly reach out of them. But I can tell you, once the results were announced, there is no soul in the summit that was sulky. Everybody was celebrating, including those who were, who were, who were backing an opposition, uh, so to speak. So I'm sure that job will be easy to do because in her work, she will make people appreciate what she's made of. I think she's accepted in the AU <coughs> by everybody. Everybody knows her, and even those who opposed her, they, they know her strength. In fact, they were saying so. I can tell you few heads of states, when we were saying this is our candidate, they were saying she does not just qualify for the AU only, but she qualifies for the United Nations, uh, because everybody accepts that reality. But besides that, she accepted her as a foreign minister at a given time, they know her, they respect her. I think she knows. She's an experienced cadre who knows how to handle leaders and how to handle cadres. But also she has an approach which is very unique, an approach that wherever she comes, she creates a very user-friendly environment where she works, wherever she has worked before, and I'm sure she will do so. Let her keep a style of work which has been able to win her the successes of whatever she has been doing in the past. There are a number of uh, <coughs> issues that she will have to deal with, and in other words, to deepen the issues. One of them would be certainly the issue of conflicts in this continent. As you know, South Africa has been one of the leading countries in terms of doing everything, including committing resources to ensure that our continent uh, is at peace with itself. I'm sure she will work very hard to do so. Uh, secondly, I think it is the issue of democracy. I think she will go a long way to deal with that issue. You know, for an example, that of late, we don't know where this is coming from. There is now an emergence of some coup d'etats of one kind or the other, which in a sense uh, move against the deepening of democracy. And I'm sure she's going to play a very big role how to deal with that issue. The issue of intra-trade, which is happening at a point when Many economic regions are trying to come together and work together. But when we are also saying we need to connect the continent, particularly through the infrastructure which is emerging as a program of Nepal, I think she is going to do very well to ensure that those programs are in fact fast-tracked so that we are able to see Africa within a short space of time being able to be a continent that could stand on its own. It's not as if she's gone forever. I'm sure people don't understand this. She's coming here for a number of years to help us change this huge uh, institution so that it is, able, it is able to deliver. She's still there. I'm sure she will be back in the country uh, to participate. <laughs>